Hello guys, I would like to make an experiment which is called a lemon battery. Can you imagine how your life would change if batteries did not exist? If it were not for this handy way to store electric energy, we would not be able to have all of our portable electronic devices such as phones, tablets and laptop computers. So many other items from remote control car to flashlights to hearing aids would also need to plug into a wall outlet in order to function. In 1800, Alexandro Water inverted the first battery and scientists have been hard at work ever since improving previous designs with all this work put into batteries and all the fluctuation you may have had copy with that once, it may surprise you that you can easily make one out of household materials. Batteries are containers that store chemical energy, which can be converted to electrical energy or what we call electricity. They depend on an electrochemical reaction to do this. The reaction typically occurs between two pieces of metal called electrodes and a liquid or paste called an electrolyte. For a battery to work well, the electrodes must be made out of two different types of materials. This angel one will react differently than the other with the electrolyte. These differences is what generates electricity. Connect the two electrodes with a material that can transport electricity well, call it a conductor, and the chemical reaction fire up. The battery is generating electricity. The objective which is the aim of this experiment is to show how batteries work and the basic principle of producing electricity, electric energy from a chemical energy. We need to prepare some materials before we start the experiment. The first one which is lemons. The second one which is low voltage LED light bulb. The third one we need to prepare which is copper wire. After that, prepare some galvanized nails. Last one, alligator clips are required. We roll and squeeze the lemon a little bit by hand to release the lemon juice inside. In each lemon, insert one nail and one small strip of copper wire. Using an electrical wire, connect the nail in one lemon to the copper strip in another lemon. Do this to each lemon to form a chain. In the first lemon, connect the copper to the long leg of the LED light. In the last lemon, connect the nail to the shorter end of the LED light. Record the observation. And there it is, light! In this experiment, did you feel the tingling in your fingertip? The battery I just made has a copper and a galvanized nail electro separate by electrolyte lemon juice. It will generate electricity as soon as the electricity has a path to flow from one electrode to the other. I create this path using galvanized nail, a material that conducts electricity well. By connecting my battery to my fingertip, I allow the small amount of electricity it generates rates to run through my body. This amount of electricity can create a tingling feeling in the fingertip. Experiences will differ from person to person. Some people may only feel the bigger signal generated by connecting several batteries in a particular way. There are some questions we need to discuss in this experiment. The first one which is what role does the lemon itself play in the battery? And the second one, which of the following fruits would make good electrolyte and which will not? Banana, limes or tomatoes? So let me answer the first question, what role does the lemon itself play in the battery? The answer which is the lemon battery works through an electrochemical reaction when it is connected to a complete circuit. The citric acid in the lemon acts as an electrolyte, a solution that conducts electricity. These electrons flow out the wire through the circuit and re-enter the lemon through the copper. Let us proceed to a second question. Which of the following fruits would make good electrolyte and which would not? Banana, limes or tomatoes? Banana would make a poor electrolyte due to lower acidity. Tomato and limes would make good electrolytes due to high At the end, the conclusion of this experiment which is electrical current is the flow of electrons of an electrical charge and is measured using an emitter. Solid conductive metals contain large population of free electrons which are bound to the metallities and move around randomly due to thermal energy. When two terminals of a voltage sources are connected with a metal wire, the free electrons of the conductor drift toward the positive terminal, making them the electrical current carrier within the conductor.